Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here. A little hot butcher for the world in this piece. In form of their sliders. Yeah. This is a Mosaic Simcoe Nelson Savine Hopped American Pale Ale coming at 6% alcohol by volume. And this beer comes courtesy of Hop Butcher. Jeremiah, specifically. Um, yeah. Hop Butcher. Tasting notes in the back as they want to do. They're talking about tropical lushness, pleasant pine, and sweet grape on this sucker. Is that what we're going to get? They're usually pretty, pretty accurate with their descriptions. But... We'll see. Anyway, um, I did not give you a date on this. I will do that in a second. Um, but I received this box, I think I got it yesterday. It's weird looking, actually. Uh, it looks like alien gray kind of mess to it. So we'll see what's what. Um, oh, zero date on that. This very, very weird. Almost all Hot Butcher stuff comes with dates on it. So you, maybe we'll do a little research towards the end of the video, see how old it is. Uh, Label-wise, Jets of Kills all the time and kind of looks like the hamburger from McDonald's, but, you know, his style stuff. And three of them standing on top of each other. So, there you go. We dig it. Beer wise, like I said, I mean, that is turbid turbidity. I mean, like I said, it looks like alien skin the way it kind of comes off. It almost looks like coconut milkish in a way. Um, very, very odd looking. Not a typical what you usually see a hazy look like. Even like a rich, robust double, or even triple IPA. It has that kind of like turbidity look to it, but man. That's an odd color. Odd color. I'm not going to say it's not going to work. It just looks weird. Um, white is white could be head on top of that, like I said, kind of coconut milk with a little bit of orange juice splashed into it kind of vibes. We're off to an odd start. Let's see what the nose knows. Oh, man. That smells awesome. Just bursting at the seams. Pineapple and tropical fruit are the big things that jump out at me. Wow. Just big, huge, 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 huge. That's how big it is. Um, just tropical fruit, pineapple, rich, rich, rich. Nice kind of perception of a decent sweetness on it. I think you may get a little bit of green vibes off of this. I'm not quite sure. I'm just kind of guessing based off what the nose is giving me. And man, what did they call them? Tasty notes? I mean, these are aromatics, but they said lush tropical, that definitely. Pleasant pine. I think we're going to get that on the taste and sweet grape. I can see the, like a white grapey thing kind of coming down on this sucker a little bit. So, yeah, as far as noses go, definitely smells much better than it looks. I don't know. It looks uninviting. It just looks so outside of the norm. You know what this actually looks like? Probably the better way to do it. Maybe it might not make sense to a lot of different people. Um, no. What's the forget the, pro the actual proper name it's like a no a heat brewed ipa i don't know if you've ever had those i forget i'm probably messing up the words here so don't roast me there's a way you can actually brew a beer without like heat it's not and it's not like cold ipa that's just a fermented thing i'm actually talking no boil kind of thing that i've had a couple of those in my beer life cycle and they all look like this so i'm kind of curious see where the sucker lands let's just dive in cheers y'all It's tasty. Definitely steps back a notch based off of how vibrant that nose is. But that, I don't think that nose is, might not be humanly possible at this ABV level. You're talking about 6%. It was bursting at the seams at the point where it smelled like a, like a triple IPA. That's how vibrant the aromatics were on it. So it comes back a little bit down to earth, but appropriate for its ABV level. Nice mouth feel to it. Not going to be confused with thick or dense, which is really weird because the beer looks super, super thick. It actually probably comes off a little bit thinner than you'd like, even at something that didn't even look like this, but definitely not going to be confused with thin. Um, you definitely get that pineapple, tropical fruit combination. I don't know if it's placebo effect. In the way to look at a beer, there's almost like a subtle, heavily oated lactose, touch of lactose thing going on, but that's kind of on par with a lot of hot butcher beers, so that's you know, not out of the realm of normalness for them. And really the biggest thing here is that punchy pininess, uh, which it, it, it stops short of like stinging your tongue, but it's getting close because it's, it's the saturation of hops in here. The hot pellet green in combination with that pininess that gives a little zip. I actually dig it. Some people get a little bit, oh, it's too green, it's this, that, and the other thing. I like it, especially in the combination of what this beer is giving you because it's giving you ultra new school juiciness ultra new school juiciness with that nice kind of pop of pininess 
is it's no by no means a perfect beer. Again, the mouthfeel could be a bit more lush. Um, the beer could look a little bit different. It's a, like I said, a slightly off-putting color. But it's pretty loud for a 6% hazy and a really fun combination. You know, I rarely get that that level, even though it's smaller than what knows you believe, that level of tropical fruit, pineapple, and that pineness at such a low ABV level. Again, it's the hop saturation, I think, that's going on here. Curious to see how this beer will age, and I don't mean like long haul aging, I mean like month, a couple months. You might get a decent amount of hop creep in it, but the way it sits now, it's a fun beer. Probably one of the more um, aggressive um, IPAs um, or hazy pails from Hop Butcher that I've had. Not that they're known for not being aggressive, they are. Um, but a lot of their lower ABV stuff tend to be a little bit more clinical, a little bit more surgical when it comes to the way the hops present themselves. This one's just a flat out, let's do a triple IPA, but it's 6%. That's the kind of the vibes I'm getting from this beer, and I, I'm here for it. I'm digging it. I like it. It's fun. There you go. So yeah, this is a fun beer. It's a fun beer. I'm not going to sit here and say it's the best hot butcher beer I've ever had. I'm not going to say it's the best lower shabby V hazy I've ever had. But with the aggressiveness it gives and the uniqueness of the way it plays, I dig it. I think it's fun. Is it one of the better lower shabby V hazies that I've had? Yes. Mount Rushmore status? No. I think the mouthfeel really does prevent it from getting there, but it's tasty nonetheless and very fun. I'm glad I got to try it. Uh, value availability? Their price points are typically pretty good in the Chicago area. Um, I know over here we pay a little bit more of a premium, um, but even their beers tend to be, you know, if they're $16.99 out in Chicago, they're like $18.99 out here. So you're looking like a $2 markup for that travel. They're usually not that bad. Um, and leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you are a haze bro or a hop thought and you just love the haze, you like that, you like huff and hop pellet bags, those kind of things, you're going to dig this beer. You really are. If mouthfeel is your thing and it's kind of live or die by mouthfeel, it might not be your favorite. But in the grand scheme of things, if you're looking at explosive, really aggressive, fun, new school flavors, at a relatively low ABV, it's, it's, it's a pretty fun get. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you enjoyed. A couple more Hot Butchers coming down the shoot, so stick around. Check them out. Um, Hot Butcher, have you been to their tap rooms? Have you had their beers? Have you had this beer? I'm really curious if you've had this one. Uh, your thoughts down below. What's your favorite Hot Butcher beer? Mine's the Columbia Mass Musician. That's my favorite. Let's look up ABV real quick so we can fit. Or date. Date. That's what we're looking up real quick. So, let's just go to Insta. That's, I think that's the easiest way for me to find the dates on these things because you can go right to their social media page. And hop, 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 hop. We'll take a peek, see where the sucker lands, and then that'll be, we'll call it a day. Sliders. They first posted about it on March 12th. So we're looking, you know, about two weeks old. So there you go. Information delivered. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers, y'all.